Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Should subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There are so many of them, so many people, so many places, so many areas in life as a choosing one, they will not give you chance. They will not give you opportunity because you are asking yourself, why I don't have this? Why don't I have opportunities here? Why don't I have opportunity there? Every one of them see who you are. They see that you are better than them. You are better than a lot of people. You are better than a lot of people. This is a big secret, a very big secret that is hidden from you that the enemy can never accept. They don't want you to know. If you are denied some opportunity, it is not because you don't merit it. If you are denied some jobs when you are qualified, it is not because, oh, you lack qualification or you lack presentation. No, it is because the moment they see you, they know that this one is better. It's going to take all our chances. But for you, you are not even going to take anybody's chance. You are just going there to do, you just want to do your things, live your life and just be happy. But you see, even in the neighborhood, there are people that will hate you for no reason. They don't even want to give you a chance to live a peaceful life in that same community, that same neighborhood. They don't want to give you a chance at all. They will ruin your name. They will put stain on your identity. <clears throat> they will say all sorts of things against you in neighborhood i'm not even talking about you going to look for an apartment or looking for a job or starting up business no i'm just talking about you coming out from your home opening your door and just walking in the streets you will see that the neighbors you will see that the community you will see that the vicinity is it vicinity they just don't like you Because they felt that if they accept you the way you are, you will outshine them. But you don't even want to, you are not even trying to outshine anyone because life is not a competition. You just want to outshine your yesterday like today you shine more than your yesterday. This is a very big secret hidden from someone. Why the opportunity they give to others, they don't give it to you. They give the opportunity to others in that same street to wave at everybody, to smile, to chat, to be happy. But when it comes to your own, you are not given the same opportunity. When it comes to your own, you are not given the same greeting. When it comes to your own, you are not given the same compliment. When it comes to your own, you are not given the same opportunity that they are giving others because you are choosing. This is a big secret because your life is scared. Your life is scared. Is scared. When you are not welcome in any place, don't feel, don't start making yourself feel like there is something you did wrong. That is why, oh, community have turned against me. Ah, maybe there is something I did wrong. Oh, I, I did this. I know you did not do anything wrong. Your only, your only offense is to be chosen by God. And it is an offense to them. How, how, and how? God does not look for, God is not looking for something to choose as a vessel. He chose nothing. As in the one that is absolutely nothing. And he make a vessel of honor out of that nothing. If God were looking for something, something that is already made, he, I will not be here because I am nothing. 
before men. But before God, he, he take that nothing and he make a vessel. <clears throat> he make vessel out of that nothing. All that we have to do is to yield ourselves and say, we are nothing, Lord. <clears throat> when men fail themselves, they will start attacking other people. They themselves are failing their own selves. So they will attack you because you are choosing. It is a secret that it, is, it has become a weapon against the people of God. That the world don't want us to be welcome in any way. Look at any settle. Look at the governmental settle. Look at the business settle. Look at educational staff settle. Look at any kind of firm, oil settle. You will see that the believers there, they are hated. So if it is happening to you, you are not alone. Because being chosen to come with a prize. Look at family settles, settle. Anyone that stands as a believer is always torn against. They remember others first before they will remember that one. If that one speak, everyone will say no. We will not accept it because they are afraid. They are afraid that you will shun them. But of a truth, you will shun your enemy even without knowing it. Not that you are in competition, but you will shun a lot of people who say you will not shine. You will shine them. I believe I'm speaking to somebody. The same opportunity given to others, they refuse you of that same opportunity because they understand that you are image of Christ. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27, the Bible says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. And bless them, and, and God said unto them, Be fruitful. When they deny your opportunity because they know you carry fruitfulness, you are productive. <laughs> they, you are productive because wherever you find your step, you will possess that place. You will possess that place. <clears throat> there will be fruit, there will be multiplication, but they will reject you because they want you to feel as if you are not productive. So that you will not be in a place of, ah, where is the opportunity? Oh, where is the... God will give you opportunity in life. Where you will be productive. Where you will be fruitful. Because you are the image of God. A carrier of God's identity. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. He said, multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. Subdue it. So when you are put in any way... In any way in this life, you subdue. You take over the territory. Every power that is there, you subdue them. Then what happened? What happened? They will come for you. So they don't want you to subdue. They don't want you to be fruitful. They don't want you to multiply. These are the reasons why they deny you of a lot and a lot of opportunity. The Bible says, replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the earth and the fowl of the earth and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. When you read down, and God said, I have given you, like he made a lot of promises to us. A lot of promises to us. And these promises that God has made to us, those that are denying you the chances to manifest in it, they are haters who are afraid, who are not confident enough in their own line, thinking that, oh, if someone do this, he are shy me. If someone do that, he are shy me. Why are they so scared? If they know that what they are doing is very perfect, why are they so scared? Child of God, you are productive. That opportunity that you need.
to yield increase. It will locate you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.